eight in Pullman in that first game. That first game in Pullman was won by the Cougars by three points. One of the poor shooting performances of the year by Arizona. They uh, certainly had this game checked off on the schedule as they'd like to make amends for that performance there in Paul. Oh, you can, and you can feel it in here. DJ Jamar had the beats going. The stu Hey, everyone's saying it's a late game, 9 o'clock. The students are like, we love 9 o'clock. We can go right out <laughs> after this game. Things just getting started in Tucson at midnight here for the students. Well, Washington State with the first possession. They'll slow it down a little bit. Three or four different guys who can heat up at any moment. A deep shot as the shot clock runs out. Good defense to start the game for Arizona. Rice just had to unload it. That yeah, credit that defensive possession to the crowd. The crowd, they couldn't hear. I could barely hear when we went on air, and I'm not sure they knew at all right there where the shot clock was. Now he figures it out, just throws one up for a prayer, and it's not answered. Certainly not the start that Kyle Smith was looking for. Caleb Love likes this start, though. Slashing to the hoop for the first bucket of the game. Well, Arizona struggled in Pullman, but the one guy who didn't was Caleb Love. And I think Washington State, they have all this size and length but the quickness hurt them from Caleb Love. In and out for Clough, keeping it alive down low is Jones. Ballo grabs the board. You talk about the length for Washington State. Offensively, they pounded in the paint. Defensively, they're the tallest team in the country at 6'6". Ballo on the nice feed from Love, and Arizona's cooking here early. Yeah, that was one of the keys, right? Paint touches, paint points for Arizona. Ballo had a pretty nice game, but Arizona missed a lot of short shots in that game. Rice answers and shushes the crowd with a 15-footer. Really excited to watch him tonight. Miles Rice has shot up just about every board as Caleb Love always in heat check mode. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Long rebound goes to Yakimovsky. Boswell grabs this one. There's another three-pointer for Love. No good. Johnson with the rebound down low, and he is fouled to be going to the line to shoot two. Now here's that play by Love. Just coming off the screen, and you can see right there that Oscar Clough tried to come up and help too late. Simple little high ball screen right there, and Miles Rice does such a good job. It's, I said it's going to be fun to watch him tonight. We'll talk more about his story, but he's a redshirt freshman that has actually been at Washington State for three years. This is his third year, but a redshirt freshman. And he, I saw him for the first time, Helly, last week in Wazoo up in Pullman. I think he's a, a, a pro and going to be a really good pro. That's how good he is. Long rebound tipped out. Arizona keeps it alive as Keyshot Johnson misses both free throws. Pella Larson, so in control in his third year here at Arizona, averaging career high 13 points per game, shooting 55% from the field. Much more assertive this year than he's been in the past. Much more aggressive, right? He's he's taking things into his hands, being aggressive, and really aggressive with the ball, creating for himself and others. There's Dude. Wells pulling up in the lane from six feet. Two-point ball game. There's Larson eventually. Larson gets that pump fake here, but you see just how aggressive. No hesitation right there. The beautiful pump fake on Wells, and that's the aggressiveness we talked about. And Wells right here. This is one thing that makes this team. You mentioned tallest team in the country. Wells is like six-eight two guard. Runner from Rice doesn't go. Larson snags the rebound. Called an off-ball foul on that last possession, so Washington State got the ball. They'll call the foul here on Rice. Now, Rice will gamble on defense. He leads his team in steals. He has incredible basketball instincts and feel in both offensive and defense. That's the reason he got that foul, though, was gambling right there, thought he could beat Pella. Pella just used his body to get in for the foul. Love driving on Rice, and then some big-time contact there with Oscar Clough, the Australian.
Now, when Caleb Love gets his shoulder into, he just gets leverage on you right there. And he's one of the most athletic guys that I was surprised at, I think, this year. Just so athletic and strong. You look at his shoulders right there on the free throw line. And that's one of the reasons I think he'll be back for a player of the year. His strength and athleticism, I, I thought him as a shooter, right? But he gets to the rim, he gets to the basket in that game up in Washington State. You know, he had 28 points in that game. He took 25 shots in that game, but that's the aggressiveness that he plays with. He was one of two players in double figures for Arizona in that first game as he hits both free throws. Caleb Lubba, three-year starter at North Carolina, transferring here, having his most efficient season by far, coming into this one, averaging nearly 19 points per game. And he's deeing up, too. Look at the intensity, Arizona. They're going to pass that off, switch that right there. A lot of those guards can guard anybody. Here's Wells for three. Got it. Yeah, Wells shooting 45% from three-point range this year. Yeah, and been on fire early in the year. He's a, he's a Division II All-American. He, he had some good games, not great games. He has been on fire the last month. That's a heat check right there. And that's deep. Grabbing the rebound down low and putting it right back in is Chinlelu. Ruben Chinlelu from Nigeria coming in, averaging about five and five, has a seven eight wingspan. Ball tipped out of bounds, gonna stay here. Seven eight. Seven eight. <laughs> that's, that's crazy right here. You see the one of Wells coming off. You see Caleb Love go under the ball screen and well shooting it so well. And because he's so tall, easy for him. That's almost an open look. Balo going to take a seat. Motieu Krivis checking in for the Wildcats. Nice Dina Boswell nicely who looks for Krivis down low, but that wasn't close. And Helly, I got to say, we talked about Washington State. Where would they be mentally? Where Would they rise to this moment? But the arena is buzzing. There's a juice going through this arena. They're up one point. What, what was... Kyle Smith worried about is what do you say Mike Tyson he said he said they are Mike Tyson Arizona will constantly be swinging the entire game you can't have a glass jaw you can't be <laughs> you got to be Buster Douglas you got to be looking to knock out the champ that's right look at some counter punching and they have done that early Keyshot Johnson big time defense down low for Arizona here's love spinning on the baseline Krivis gets a hand on it and knocks it out of bounds. It's going to be Washington State ball when we come back. As expected, a close game here. Washington State up by one here in the earth. Phenomenal. Seven-time Pac-12 freshman of the week. Ties a record with Evan Mobley, who was pretty good. Who's pretty good. Day and, at SC. Yeah, and he's won four in a row, which no one has ever done in the Pac-12. And so, you know, this is just a great story. He's you know, it's interesting. He's from South Carolina, Columbia, close to it, played it close to Atlanta. See a bucket there by Chinyelu, but he he was not recruited by any Power Five, Power Six conference at all, except one, Washington State, and that's where he wanted to go. Washington State, the only offer he got. Kyle Smith said, you know, it's a little different than Atlanta coming to Pullman. Wow! Caleb Love for the second game in a row when he takes it to the rack. He drops the hammer. And not a great closeout there by Washington State. I know you got to respect Caleb's three, but he's missed a couple, and he's getting to the rim. I think you've got to cover the rim first. Washington State coming right back. There's Kamani Winsu with the easy two. And Washington State now up by three. Johnson trying to answer off the mark. Here's Rice pushing up the tempo, kind of loses his footing. Looks like they're going to call the foul on Caleb Love. Yeah, here's that closeout right there. Just did not come under control right there. That was Chinyelu. And Chinyelu has such a long reach. You said, what, 7 8? I don't think he needs to come out that fast. He's got so much length. To come point. out at a much controlled pace right there, you would be able to contest Love. But I think you're going to get hurt, hurt more with Love getting to the rim. Talk to. Caleb before the game and I, I said you know you got a little mini Mamba in you 
and he's like that's why i wear the kobe's man he like he he loved it he loved that i said that and i'm like you got that kind of style that kind of competitiveness that grit you know just the way he plays and, and he like embraced it he was all in for it you know what i'm surprised he didn't say yeah as Jalen Wells hits a three-pointer to put the Cougs up by six. Game recognizes game, brother. That's what I'm surprised he didn't say. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> so Arizona looking for an answer here. Down by six. Larson with the tough drive. And the reason Larson got there was because Mount Crevis is so big. When he posts up, he really locks up Chinyelu, and it leaves it wide open for Pella just on that little jumper. Working on Pella there was Winsu can't get it to go. How high KJ get on that rebound? Calling the travel on Jaden Bradley. That's his first turnover this month. That's crazy. His first turnover in about 115 minutes. Oh, man. There's the one where... Crevis gets in the way of Chinyelu, really opens it up, and Wells on the other end on that first jump shot highlight. He is rolling. Arizona, that's a tough guard for them. You see Jaden Bradley on him now. Just because of his height, again, he can just shoot over guys. It reminds me of like an Allen Houston, really tall two guard. Tennessee shout out for Allen Houston. Back in the day. <laughs> My man. He could, he could stroke it. <laughs> that's right. They're going to call the foul on the floor. No, and the fans don't like it here. No, no, no. I going to say, you know I'm going to have a Bernard King later on. What happened to Bernard King? I'm going to have a Bernard King. Oh, you're going to oh, yeah. then Ernie Grunfeld? We can get them yeah, all in there if you want. Kinds of, all kinds of Tennessee <laughs> references. Well, i got to get them in since I'm with the mayor of Tucson here calling this game. <laughs> Here's Rice, guarded by Love. Long rebound to K.J. Lewis, who's checked in for the Wildcats. Loses the ball momentarily in the trees right now. Foul going up, and he gets it to go. Might be the best athlete on this team. Just muscled it up there. Well, and you can tell, Nelly, what Arizona's trying to do. They are trying to get into the paint. You, talk, you talked about Tyson. They're trying to get the, there's, there's the strength. You mentioned from KJ Lewis and the athleticism combined. You bring in him and Bradley. It's amazing. KJ Lewis, Jaden Bradley, their stats are almost identical, these two guys. It is crazy, in. right? It's crazy. They're both about the same size, Lewis a little bigger. They play differently, but the numbers when they come in are just amazingly similar. Two point game. Ball lost for a minute. Isaac Jones able to gather. Interesting they have Pella Larson right now and Isaac Jones. They're going to call the foul on Arizona. I believe it's on Pella Larson. Oscar Clough was bumped going up, but I believe it was after the shot. Just being physical on that box out. For Keyshot, Johnson checks back in. Larson's going to take a seat. Larson with a quiet game against Arizona State, just five points, but it was a 45-point win, so they didn't need him to be uh, as assertive as he has been the last few games. Well, and it's amazing to me, the Arizona team right now, one of the reasons they're playing so well, it seems like every guy on their team is individually playing their best. There's Johnson, tough turnaround. Crevis almost tips it in. Scrapping down low, Washington State, and Jalen Wells come up with it. Well, you can tell, though, even with Washington State's size, Arizona on the offensive glass, they are hungry on the glass. They're, Washington State's got to be really careful defending and boxing out. Wells doesn't hit anything besides the backboard on that one. Here's Bradley, strong left-handed take to tie things up at 16. 
Well, and that's Bradley going against Oscar Clough, who's got a 7-5 wingspan. How does Bradley do it at 6-2? He is one of the best, but first look, off the bounce. He's going to beat you on the drive. Just kind of a friendly little dunk there, but Bradley using the body, getting it up. We did what, 15, 20 years in the Pac-12, and look at that, over 300 points in the last three. It's the third time they've done that since 1998. Well, it's crazy. You got that Oregon team from 02, but all the rest of the Arizona teams are the 98 team. The team that right after they won the national championship lost in that Elite Eight game to Utah, but one of the best teams in Arizona history. Rebound goes out to Miles Rice. Jones off the mark. Good hustle there by... Bradley trying to save it. They're going to say he stepped out of bounds, so it's going to stay here with Washington State. Yeah, the one thing about this Washington State team, they have great chemistry. They hustle, they play hard, as does Arizona. When you get to this level, right, 1v2 in the league right here, you've got teams with really good chemistry. Reverse doesn't go for Rice. Ooh. Here comes Bradley. Oh, all on the ground. And these guys are diving all over the place. A lot on the line. First place in the Pac-12 in this game. Drive nearly blocked, but Yakimovsky stays with it. You don't see that from him a ton because he shoots about six three-pointers a game. He is a three-point sniper, but running the court well there. Uh, to your point, 62% of his shots are threes. He rarely gets inside that three-point line. So a big bucket for Washington State there. Rice pokes it away. Love gets it back. Rice doing a good job on Love right there, being physical with him. Shot clock winding down. Bradley throws it up. Johnson scrapping for the ball, but they're going to say the shot clock ran out. Going to be Washington State ball. You know, the other thing Yakimovsky does is rebound. Second leading rebounder on this team. He's a two guard. Tommy Miller. Our, our Tommy, Tommy Lloyd talked about how much rebounding meant this game. And you and you look at what they've done rebounding the the U of A team right now. I mean, they are, you know, leading the net, just 13 in offensive rebounds in the country, three in defensive rebounding, according to Ken Palm. And that's to him that was what, what, what the number one thing he said to us was rebounding the ball. Yeah, that rebounding margin for them over 11 per game. That's third best in the country as well. So. They definitely dominate down low. Yakimovsky with another take. He's fouled on his way in. And all of a sudden, he's going to the hole, you know? I know. I'm a, he must have hurt me. <laughs> I could do more than just shoot, Ellie. Come on. Well, Yakimovsky, about 6'7", 6'8", from North Macedonia. Played a lot of his ball. He wasn't really a player until he went to Italy. We were talking to Coach Smith about that. And what was the cool thing they said? His parents are actually coming out to Pullman next week first time ever first time ever right to be in the united states so pretty cool for him to see mom and dad How about the other parents that are here oh oscar clough's folks the center for washington state we got a chance to chat with his parents today they're making the trip all the way over from australia first time they've ever seen him play in the states they said they've never been in an arena this big <laughs> that's right they, they were blown away just sitting here with no fans what are yeah. they thinking right now with 14 plus in the in the uh, the glow sticks. I don't think they had, have ever experienced anything like this. A four point ball game as Bolo throws it down. What a pass from Pella Larson to the big fella. Pella clapping, getting the crowd going. That was a set call after the free throw. Two point ball game, under 10 to go here in the first half. Oh wow. Wells deep. Rebounded and put back by Chin Yelu, 6'11, 245, and the, that man is put together. And there's the 7 8 wingspan you also talked about. There's Love, pump fake. Here comes Rice to Wells. Hanging and hitting. Really difficult shot. Cougars right up by six. The crowd going a little bit silent here right now, trying to get the energy back up. Cougars are balling right now, and, and to me the key, they've been really good on the offensive end. 
Balo working down low on Ch Chinyelu. No help all alone, Balo. This is going to the left hand. Rebound grab by Chinyelu. And you'd have to think that length may have affected that just a bit, but a shot Balo normally hits for sure. Well, he had eight offensive rebounds Balo did in their first matchup, but not effective offensively. Couldn't get the shot to fall there. Really would like to establish his presence down low. Turnover there, and they're going to call the foul on Yakimovsky. It's a six-point game. Arizona down on their home court where they have not lost before. They would like to see more of this. Balo dropping the hammer. Washington State answering to what 24 at Oregon State his high, but he was kind of a pippin, you know, kind of a smaller guy in high school, but grew during high school, and all of a sudden he had those skills that grew into that 6'8 body. Yeah, started high school, he was about 5'8, he goes 6'8 now. Much more aggressive than he was earlier in the year when he was just looking to spot up. Larson misses here. Love launches the triple and hits. Oh, Offensive oh, rebounds, three. converting threes. That's where you see it, and that's where Washington State's got to be careful. Great little tip out there, I think, by Wizabalo. Yakimovsky using the screen. And Love rips it down. Here's Boswell. Short Another tip one. back out. Same thing as last time. Larson gets a hand on it. Rice comes away with it. It's one on two. And Washington State settles it down here on offense as Arizona has cut into that lead. Cougs up by three. Long rebound to Boswell. Here's Love coming at full speed. Fouled and hits. Yakimovsky got a piece of him. Ball bounces up high and then tickles the twine. He's just so aggressive. Hell, I, I look at that move like I don't see anything there. Like, why is he even going in? I mean, he's cut off. He's got a 6'7, 6'8 guy on him, but able to draw the foul because of the strength. Again, that little leverage. He just gets his leg or shoulder in front of you just a bit, and he draws that foul and then gets a friendly bounce at, at, bounce at home. A little Mamba. And just like that, Little Mamba ties it up to 24. And Love is going to take a breather as K.J. Lewis has checked in for the Wildcats. Picking him up full court. Rice trips on his way down, and Lewis ties him up. Possession arrow to the Wildcats. Well, one thing I was going to mention, Arizona, a team that really pressures you, is more than any Tommy Lloyd team has in the past two years. But Washington State's gonna, done a great job so far. That was only their fourth turnover of the game. Bala was looking for Larson. Larson was going to the back cut, and they just weren't on the same page. Six turnovers here in the early going for Arizona. All tied up at 24, just over six to go in the first half. Oh, that looked easy for Chinyelu. Well, a guy that only averages five a game, wants to be a doctor when he's done playing basketball, but that was kind of an awkward shot. I'm not sure Balo even knew that was coming. Boswell, a little inside-out move, kicks it out to Pella Larson, too strong. getting everything reset shot clock winding down at eight 
Yakimovsky just glanced up at it, knows he's going to have to shoot here, and he does. Runner no good, Bala with the board. But the thing for Washington State, even a miss right there as Boswell launches, the miss was okay for them because they ran good possession, ran the clock down, they had really good balance on offense, so then they can get back on defense. Arizona didn't get a great shot there. And then Rice, I think he's doing a great job controlling the pace and tempo. Washington State will run a little bit. They don't like to, obviously, as much as Arizona, especially here in McHale Center. That's a great point about Rice, and he is just a freshman. Granted, he's been in school for three years. This is his first year on the court as Jalen Wells hits another three, his third of the game. He's just rising above guys that are guarding him again because of the size. I think, I think you mentioned 45% from three, so he can really stroke it. He has kind of a little bit of a side spin on that jump shot, but it's effective. Boswell Ooh. dropping it off for Bala, who's met at the rim by Chinyelu, who's called for the foul. That is a lot of beef going up there, man. I mean, he went at him. You can see the length of Chinyelu to get a piece of it, but Bala did the right thing by getting into his body. Bala going to the line where he's shooting 50% on the season, but much better lately. Yeah, I think it's what in the last six games he's at 60% or 60% in conference play. So it's it's really gone up for him. And this is that one as we talk about it, but it's looked better as of late. Caleb Love checking back into the game for Arizona. Balo trying to make it a four-point game. And he's short once again. You, you know what I notice about his free throws lately is they're on, they're straight. And so he's missing them typically long or short, which is a good thing. So you just got to dial in the distance. If you're missing them left or right, you're in big trouble. Jones looking for the dunk. Balo was there and ends up dropping it in. That is what Isaac Jones does. He's a unique player. He will, he will really put his body into players, and he's able to finish by almost hitting them and going a little bit backwards. Johnson hits the short baseline jumper. He, he, Jones just has that funky release where he can, he can just almost put it in your face, kind of reach his arm back, and he finishes crazy shots. Jones, another great story for this team, and a transfer from Idaho, played three years of junior college ball. One of those was a COVID season. Here he is again, just putting the shoulder down, loses the ball in traffic, can't convert. That's one he usually hits. Big possession here. If Arizona scores this, they're down five. You can feel the crowd about to, to blow it open. Foul called up top on Isaiah Watts. So many different players on this Washington Cougar. They should call this team wingspan. <laughs> Well, the, the most impressive thing to me is how Kyle Smith has remade this team. He lost the four leading scores from last year. Mo Gay, TJ Bamba, DJ Rodman, Justin Powell, all gone. And what are they doing? Well, they're ranked for the first time in 16 years. And they're on the cusp, but they could pull this one out of, of being the number one team in the Pac-12 right now. Yeah, I, I couldn't agree more with you. And, you know, that's Kyle Smith, because of exceeding the expectations in the preseason, has to be coach of the year as of now and so far. I think he's got a chance to be coach of the year in the country. I mean, from what he's done, he was, they were predicted 10th, got a chance to move up to number one, as you said. That's an incredible, incredible, ex, you know, exceeding expectations. What you call it? Doing more with less? Doing more with less. Certainly not that these, these players right. are less, but he lost so much, lost so much. of his firepower. And, you know, one thing we haven't talked about yet, as Wells is filed, fouled in the lane by Bradley, is that there have only been two losses on this court since Tommy Lloyd has been here, and one of them was last year to Washington State. They know how to win in this building. The thing is... They only have 18 points returning from that game. Arizona only has 18 points returning from that game. So two different teams. 
but certainly the mentality is there as another foul is called on Arizona. I think that's a great point that Arizona did not come back loaded this year. But because of who they brought back and because of some of the new guys they brought in, Tommy Lloyd's team goes into the season, you know, preseason number one. I mean, you'd make a great argument he could be coach of the year, but when you're number one to start the season and then you're number one in the, you know, towards the end, people sometimes look around and say, well, you're predicted to be number one. Well, I mean, it, you know, being able to look at expectations and, and equal those expectations, especially when the expectations are incredibly high, is really hard to do. Jones misses the first rebound to Arizona. Washington State with that little zone they play that caused Arizona problems in Pullman. What a look to Larson! Caleb Love with a beautiful bounce pass to Pella. Who throws it down and now it's a one-point game with two to go. Well, the zone we saw in home, right? Washington State really kind of confused our zone. But the screen right there, the back door, Arizona worked on that in shoot around. That was something they thought they could see right there. And Pella absolutely ripping it down. I like the I like the throwdown right there. Yeah, he cocked that thing back cocked it threw back. it down. You know, it's funny when you talk to people around the NBA, there's obviously a lot of future NBA players on this court but coming into the season one of the ones as we talked about in the last game against Arizona, Arizona State has been maybe somewhat overlooked is Pella Larson but Pella Larson is going to be an NBA player I agree with you and, and I thought maybe at the start of the season I was thinking okay maybe late second round or an undrafted guy that'll make a team a sure. 3 and D guy I think he's moved way up on the board in my mind I think he could be easily be a late or early second round pick yeah, some of the mocks you look at even have him slipping into the first round. Certainly a long way to go. But he is playing like an NBA prospect, as is the man with the ball. Kylan Boswell, a lot of those draft charts as well. They went, so Washington State goes back to that zone. They were in it. What they'll do a lot of times, they'll go zone, and then they'll just they'll turn it into man at about the 15-second mark, and here they are. They're full man right now, and what Arizona needs to do, just run their man offense. Don't worry about it. Poking it away and has to let it rip. You know, they practiced those half court <laughs> shots. I thought maybe he was going to hit it. I think I'm, Boswell actually hit one today in shoot around. I think so. I'm with you. They, they do practice those every game. Why is that matchup zone that turns to man mid, -possess mid possession so tricky for some guys to deal with? Well, I think they see zone and they're thinking, okay, I'm going to run my zone offense. Let's get them into that. By the time they kind of get into it, now that there's only 12, 13 seconds on the yeah. clock, you kind of look at it again, wait a second, they're in something different. What do we do now? And like I said, I think it's just, just run whatever play it is. Uh oh. Caleb Love. Oh. He Whoa. could taste the bucket, <laughs> loses the ball off his knee, frustrated as he walks back down the court. I wonder if he was wondering what he was going to do up there, what dunk he was going to go with, because he was all alone, and we know he can flush it any way he wants. Well, they had a chance to tie it up. Grabbing his own board and tipping it back in. Is Yakimovsky knocked out of bounds, had a good look at it. But Balo was there to contest the shot. Man, on the glass around the rim, it's big boy basketball right now. There's no doubt about that. Guys like Shinyelu, Balo. There's a lot of banging going on down low. Larson with the pump fake. Love from 19 feet, drills it. And Arizona back in the lead for the first time in seemingly forever. See if Washington State can answer. 30 seconds to go here in the first half. Boswell playing tough D. Driving and then tripped up the blocking foul called on Larson Yakubovsky holding the stomach here and One of the great things that makes love so good 
He has a really short memory. He missed a few of those threes early on. Not at all worried about it. In that zone, great penetration opens up the three. Boy, he looked pretty. He looks set about to me. Pretty set as you can get. Outside the circle. Crowd letting the officials hear it. I can't hear myself. Right, I, mean, I can barely hear anything. I can barely hear you. You sound With... great. <laughs> <laughs> you look great. <laughs> no, I, it's it's as loud as I've heard it all year in here. Yeah, they are alive for a game that tipped off at nine o'clock. It's ten o'clock almost local time here. And again, as I mentioned earlier, they're coming off a sellout crowd in that territorial cup game against Arizona State. They blew them out of the building by 45 points. And it is a tight one here as first place in the Pac-12 is on the line. Washington State hits both free throws and is now once again in the lead by one point. That would be incredible. Yeah, you take down a team, the NCAA Selection Committee released their top 16 projected seeds last Saturday. Arizona on that top line as the final number one seed. But we have a long way to go here. Down by one, Arizona with a chance to take the lead with 12 seconds to go here in the half. And Caleb Love off that side. Going to go just one-on-one. -on -one. No screen and roll. Here it comes. Ballo going up. Rises. Too strong. And Washington State will go into the locker room with a one-point lead here at the McHale Center where they won last year. We wondered how they were going to answer the call. We wondered what they were going to experience defeat coming off that 45-point win over Arizona State just a few days ago. And now they find themselves down by one here on their home court. Interesting. They have Larson now on Rice. He's guarded Isaac Jones, and now he's guarding Miles Rice. Four and the one player. So another thing that will translate well into the NBA. High and finally mm -hmm. dropping for... Ruben Chinyelu, he has 10 for the Cougars. Now, Arizona purposely giving him that shot. He's not a shooter, has not made a three all year. I know that wasn't a three, but that's a shot Arizona would like to see him take. He just made it. Good for him. Boswell in the corner. Follow ripping down the board. There's Boswell on the drive again. Blocked and fouled by Chinyelu. He thought it was clean. Well, here's the Chinyelu jumper. Got the very, very front of the ball. There's the drive. Looked like a great block. Must have got body underneath. He's not happy with it. You know, Kylan Boswell goes the line. He's been playing really well the last few weeks. In fact, the game he did play well was back in Wazoo. In Pullman, had no points, no free throws, kind of a zero throughout the entire game, and at half had the same thing here. Yeah, scoreless in 25 minutes up in Pullman. He's had three straight games in double figures, has Boswell for the first time since November, so he's been playing great. Boswell, just 18 years old, graduated high school early, one of the youngest sophomores in the country. Rice wow. on the drive. How fast was that? That's that first step. It's crazy. He's he reminds me, and I'm going to throw this out to a colleague of ours, Eldridge Rakasner, former <laughs> Washington player, as Paulo knocks that is. I think Eldridge called him a little bit of a Tony Parker, and he does have a little bit of that Tony Parker flash. He's got some wiggle. He's got some juice. He's got glides through people. Really impressive. Paulo goes straight up. It's going up. Impacts the shot. Keisha Johnson dropping the hammer. I thought Lowe did an awesome job there of waiting on the pass, and he kind of disguised it. He never really looked over at Johnson. A great play by him. Well, he didn't disguise it to you, partner. You called it. <laughs> Boswell with the clear, and then another pass to Johnson, who's fouled on the way up. He'll be shooting two. Yeah, here's that bucket. I thought I thought Love waited. You know. And there's the follow two on the other end. Here's the defense to that break. And you can tell he looked over right there. 
Got the little peak, new key shot. You watched a lot of key shot at San Diego State last year. Man, he can get up when he's running. Loves to jump off one foot. His game has changed a little bit since he's arrived here. He's made 24 three-pointers this year, 28 in four years at San Diego State. But he is uber athletic. You yeah. know, we talk about the most athletic guys on the team, KJ Lewis, one of them certainly. He shot Johnson up there as well. You get the feeling in the second half, Arizona is attacking. They are getting at the rim in the lane. They want paint points and paint touches. Here's Rice, Ooh. fouled by Johnson. Thought he had all ball, but looked like he got the arm after that. First foul for Johnson. Yeah, live, it looked pretty clean. Look at here on the replay. I just, I can't see, I can't tell looking at that. I thought he got the ball initially and then got the hand. Nonetheless, Miles Rice at the line. Tell Rice has stepped up his game in the second half. He seems much more aggressive. First, what, two and a half minutes. And out of the second free throw, that could have tied the game up. And now Arizona, after trailing for nearly 14 and a half minutes in the first half with a chance to add to their lead. Balo up and blocked. Going to call the foul from behind on Isaac Jones. Got him from behind. Look at Balo. Put the body in the chimney. You can't see it really right there. Good call on the other side, but Balo does such a good. Look how he just moved Chinelo pretty much out of the lane right there under the basket. Seven feet, 260. He is a big human being who can do a lot of moving. Been a double-double machine this year, has Balo. Kind of flipped the switch after that loss to Oregon State on January 25th. Five straight double doubles. Jones does a nice job defensively blocking Johnson. Yeah, Johnson had cut across the lane. A lot of teams do that on free throws. So they can get position. It kind of changes the role. He was and really effective, but just got a shot block. And now there. blocks that shot. Johnson got a piece of it. Now he gets to Woo! throw it down. You get the block and then you get the flush. That's how you want to finish it. Show him, big fella. Well, Keisha Johnson, packed and loud. Some of the people call the glow sticks the lit noodles. They, <laughs> that's their pet name for them, but it's 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 an experience right now. Yeah, this is one of the better atmospheres in college basketball. Washington State is feeling it. After leading the vast majority of the first half, they find themselves trailing by four. Ball knocked out of bounds, will be going to Arizona. Yakimovsky has yet to hit a three-pointer. He takes about six a game. Definitely a high-volume shooter. He's 0 for 4 here tonight. I feel like Washington State down four now. They're going to have to look to their guys. Isaac Jones, Miles Rice when he comes back in the game out right now. Keisha Johnson with a three-pointer in and out. Monty Winsu right here, number 31. He's a 6'7 backup point guard. Incredible passer from France. Let's see if he can get something going with his teammates. Inside of the big fella, Clough in and out. Johnson saves it as he's falling out of bounds. Nice hustle play there. Love. Clough with the clear. And Washington State still down by four. We're about four minutes into the second half. Well, so effective in the first half. And Clough is there for his first points of the game. Larson running the floor, has trouble gathering. Ballo trying to keep it alive. 
But it's Winsu who comes up with the loose ball. Winsu not a shooter. You can so see Pella Larson just sagging laying off, off and sagging off. Making him do something to get to the, the paint. So back within two, Tommy Lloyd going to chat with the fellas. There are some things that need to be discussed. He was a great, he's missed it, Gonzaga. He is a great, great recruiter. Now you can tell, missed this year for sure, but as you said, relationship building, and that's what it gets. When you have ex-players, parents just coming to see you play, that's pretty cool. It's awesome. Here's Jones. Fouled on the way up by Balo. Isaac Jones, the senior from Spanaway, Washington, will be going to the line. Now, Isaac Jones, speaking of Tommy Lloyd, Isaac Jones played in the same league as Tommy Lloyd played when he was at in junior college at, at Walla Walla. And you think about you know where he's come from. I think it was Wenatchee College in Washington. He was there three years. And basically was not even going to play anywhere, but his buddy went to Wenatchee. His buddy said, why don't you come and play? And that all the coaches have told him, hey, you've got to be a stretch four. Well, he's not a stretch four. He's a post-up player, so he worked, worked really hard with the coach who came to Washington State now four years later. So what a, what a story where some of these guys from Washington State have come from. Yeah, the coach was with him in Idaho and now Washington State is going to be a mechanic. Wasn't even going to go to school. <laughs> Ends up going to junior college and now one of the better players in the country. That's Jeremy Hardy, the coach that he had there at Wenatchee and then went with him to Idaho and then now at Washington State. So, been a fun ride for those two together, huh? Oh, man. He said he would show up every day at 6 a.m., work on his post moves. The one thing that makes him good, and we'll see this, he's a really good ball handler. So he can get into different moves. He has a lot of different lead and reacts. Boswell using the screen, and you can see the emotion there. As we mentioned earlier, scoreless in 25 minutes at Washington State. A slow start here today. But hits the three-pointer, and he could be heating up just at the right time for the Wildcats. Feels like the biggest shot of the game for Arizona for a couple reasons. And Wells answers right back. His fourth three of the game, he has 16 for the Cougs. And that was under pressure. That was not an easy shot. Just a great individual move. Balo working on Clough, backing wow. him down wow. into the paint. And he is fouled on the ground. Here's the Boswell jumper. You see Yakimovsky. The screen by Balo was so good right there that he opened him up. And again, Wells just shooting over guys. He's so tall, so long. We talked about Wells a little bit, the Sonoma State transfer. You know, the first 10, 12 games of the season, he was kind of a spot-up shooter, just feeling his way around. Sonoma State, a D2 school, started getting more comfortable. Over the last 11 games, he's been starting, averaging 15 per. Here's Boswell working with Balo again. Little runner spins around and then drops. Well, what happens when you hit a nice three-pointer from 23 feet? Everything feels good. And I think the key there, Boswell getting in the paint, being aggressive, good things happen when he does that. Here's Jones taking his time, and then he's flexing on his way back up the court. You know, I started to talk about it. I talked a little bit in the first half about that. He hits crazy shots under pressure. It's amazing that right-handed hook he has. Hell Larson blocked. Bottles there to clean it up. And now it's Bala with nine points. Back to the, the, the boxing analogy. This is just back and forth. Punch, counter punch, both teams. There's the there's the handles by Jones, but Boswell reaching in there and getting the steal. Sense Boswell a little more aggressive. That one was in and out. Thought he had follow on the lob, too. Ooh, oh, the lob. nice pass. He is the best passer on the team. You said it earlier. Winsu. And then there for the finish is Jones. 
and, and the reason Winsu can do that, he has great vision, but he can see over everybody. So he can see Jones on that back end right there where most point guards can't see him. Back to a one-point ball game. Love pulling the trigger. A tough shot. Jones back in his way down. Another tough shot over mm -hmm. Pella Larson. That, that is his shot. You see most people shoot that. You'd be like, what are you doing? Like that's, you know, under pressure right there. Kind of a running half jump hook. But that's Isaac Jones go to. Runner doesn't fall for Boswell this time. Chin Yalu fouled on the rebound. And it is a back and forth affair. Throwing it down. Three years of junior college, one year at Idaho. Washington State was actually recruiting him out of junior college, but they came in a bit late. And he's a loyal guy, right? So he had already talked to Idaho. He said, I'm, I'm going to go to Idaho. He yep. had a coaching change. And then that coach from Juco, who was at Idaho, Jeremy Hart, as you mentioned earlier, ended up at Washington State. And now he's in Pullman as well, and he has certainly paid dividends for the Cougars. Well, this team is not smoke and mirrors. They, they've got players at every position, and now with the rising star Wells at the two guard, we know about Yakimovsky, the stars. Rice hasn't even been playing for the last five minutes. Inside to Jones, who's fouled by Johnson. He'll shoot two. You can see they're really moving the ball around to try to find Jones. They like that matchup right there. They are going to Jones in the second half, and he's responding. Third foul on Johnson. Isaac Jones, just a 59% free throw shooter. As I mentioned, Tommy Lloyd played in that same league as Jones, and he said, dudes just don't come out of that league to the Pac-12 and buy for player of the year. That doesn't happen, although I will say Tommy Lloyd did have 52 at Walla Walla. He kind, of, he kind of downplayed a little bit, but you score over 50. I don't care if it's in rec league. What do you have, nine threes, he said? Yeah, that's a night. Washington State up by three. Back to that zone that kind of goes to a man. And it's going to be another turnover. First turnover of the half for Arizona. Now nine in the game. Yeah, here's trying to get Jones the ball. They're really looking for him. We'll see it here. I think they're going to go to Jones right here again. Winsu will try to be the trigger guy. They get at him right there using his handles. He's fouled again. If that is Johnson... Uh, it's Krebus called for the foul. It's a second. You just don't see a lot of guys at six. What is he? Six ten, six nine, six ten that have those handles. And then the funky shot and funky hook and release. He goes into the guy and creates creates calls all the time. You got to give him credit for that. Very physical, a little bit of an old school game when he yes. gets down there, pump faking, awkward shots, but it's effective. They're wondering how his game would translate against power six competition. I'd say pretty well. Coming into this one, averaging almost 16 points per game. Bump from behind, it's going to be Yakimovsky on the foul. So five-point lead for Washington State, and you have to think they're just going to keep doing what they've been doing, right? Yeah, and I think they like the pace right now. They've done a good job creating the right tempo. Kyle Smith will run when the opportunity is there, but they are much more comfortable right now. You look at the teams in terms of tempo, Arizona in terms of tempo is 15 in the country. Washington State, 310 in the country. Too strong for Johnson. Yeah, in terms of fast break points, just six fast break points in this game for Arizona. Points in the paint. Both teams wanted to establish the paint. Dead even, 28 apiece. Wells. That 
Gatlin for the rebound down low. And the foul is going to be called on Arizona. Well, you can see the confidence of this Washington State team just getting more and more confident with every play on this end of the court. See right there. He said Love came down. I don't know. I think it was on Crevis. Crevis because he was holding Jones on that. Or no, Chinelli. How about Johnson coming out of nowhere to get that block? Ball's out of bounds. It will stay here. This was sweet right here. Mm. He jumped before Chinelu even jumped. He got a little arm, but a good non-call. Fifty-five, fifty. Ten minutes to go. Miles Rice with the ball for the Cougars over to Wells. See if Rice takes him down low with the dribble. Four on the shot clock, has to pull the trigger. Bradley with the clear. K.J. Lewis, foul on his way up by Chinyelu. You see, Lewis, here, you mentioned the best athlete on this Arizona team, and because of the aggressive move, he draws the foul from Chinyelu by getting into his body. You try to fade away, that ball's getting blocked into the third row. Lewis, not only athletic, but very active defensively, leads the team and steals per minute. It's great chemistry with Pella Larson. They can kind of read each other's mind on those back cuts. Haven't seen it yet tonight, but it seemingly presents itself almost every game. A, a really smart player, like you said, two and a half to one assist to turnover ratio. A guy that does that as a freshman, coming off the bench in limited type minutes, 19, 20 a game, that's a leap. Here's Winsu guarded by Love. Well, they're loving Jones just facing up and just going one on one. Arizona practiced this in the shoot around. We saw this for about 20 minutes. Triple team comes on Jones. Winsu short on the runner, gets his own rebound. Back wow. up again and off the window. That size at 6'7", point guard right there. They got Winsu. They don't, they don't often play Miles and Winsu together. Here's Love using the follow screen. Answering the call. Back up for long distance. Back to a three-point ball game. Caleb Love now with 20 points on the night. defense from Love. Wells with the runner blocked. Follow gets a piece of it. Here comes Love. Tied up on his way up by Miles Rice. Well, that was incredible. How fast he ran down. Here's that play right there. You see Jones just going one on one right there, and Keyshot does a great job. Bodying them up there, not getting in the paint. And that was the play that Arizona practiced in shoot around. But here's Winston, just so tall at 6'7 as a point guard, able and kind of pump fake, I mean, kind of hung in the air there to knock that in. Love using the ballo screen. And so I think Love's right now, he's the player of the year in this conference. He feels the moment. Arizona needed something, was a little stagnant on offense, and he delivers. Arizona has four three-pointers as a team. Caleb Love has three of them. He now has 21. The North Carolina transfer played in 101 games for the Tar Heels, averaging almost 15 points per. And what an addition he has been to the Pac-12 Conference and Arizona. Clough working on Ballo. Ooh. At the elbow. Ballo knew he was going for the left hand hook. That's the that's the play right there that Clough loves to go to, Oscar Clough. And Ballo anticipated it, but just got too much arm on that back tap. 
So Clough going to the line where he's a 68% free throw shooter. We mentioned his parents coming all the way over from Australia to watch him play for the first time. His parents were in it like a crazy van that they're driving around Arizona up in the Grand Canyon. And the thing had like some sort of like a bighorn sheep on yeah, the side. Yeah, an elk or a sheep. On Why it. did we take a picture? We should have, man. In and out. It remains a three point lead for Washington State. Clough, another junior college guy that ended Ooh. up at Washington State. The steal by Miles Rice in the block. Coming from Keyshawn Johnson. But there to clean up the mess is Kamani Winsu. Talk about athletic plays. The action here is incredible. Not stuck in fourth. To follow inside for the easy two. The key shot ended up on the front row. Yeah, he went for a tumble after that block. Clough on bottom. Going to his left hand. Big on oh, big. Sitting to his right in and out. Set me up right there. He didn't want to become too predictable. That's right. Now he's called for the foul down here low. That, that was the action here is elite. It's back and forth. This is a fun one right here. Watch this. Rice with the steal. Thinks he's going to. He is getting it done. He is hard to stop. He's a sturdy power forward who's also fifth in the conference in rebound. Well, his college high is 42 points. When you score 42, you get a 40 burger, and I don't care what happens or where it is, like you can you can light it up. Well, no disrespect to the Vandals, but this is a different environment than Pocatello, <laughs> Idaho, down here in Tucson in enemy territory. I wonder if he even moved apartments. It's not far away. One point ball game. These two teams are scrapping. This is like a prize fight back and forth. All one on one with Jones. Let's see if they double. Jones on Johnson, a little push off. They're going to call an offensive foul. You saw that one coming. Keyshawn Johnson has been playing really good defense. Did a phenomenal job there. Just a little chicken wing, right? Yeah, he's really bodying him. He's trying to get him out of the lane. Once Jones gets closer, he's so hard to stop. You've got to stop him early. Arizona down by one with a chance to take the lead. And the steal nearly made by Rice. That was almost the exact play we saw two minutes ago. Johnson bumped on the drive, just tosses it up. Jalen Wells got him with the body. He seems a little bit perplexed. I don't know why. He looks up pretty high. That's what I'm Easy call there. So Johnson goes to the line where he's a 75% free throw shooter. We're all tied up at 60. Johnson's such an important piece in San Diego State where he played four years at 14 points in the national championship game and comes in here to this phenomenal program with immediate credibility. Tommy told us before that Arizona State game, he said, I, listen, I sat him down and said, I know you're new, but I, I need you to be a leader. We have so many international guys. We have so many young guys. And he's certainly done that. Well, and interesting, him and Pella Larson, the heart and soul of this team. And he's done that in a very quick fashion, just getting here, as you mentioned. Going to call the foul, the off-ball foul on Kylan Boswell. Well, you can tell what Kyle Smith is doing right now. He's trying to find a matchup that he likes and literally just go one on one with the Arizona players. That time it was Winsu, the 6 7 backup point guard. He thought he had the matchup and the advantage over Kyle Boswell on the 6 2. Winsu, a 61% free throw shooter, makes the first. I got a shout out 
I mentioned that before the other break to Jim Crawford, the uh, SID for Washington State, called Kamani Winsu the French Army Knife. Well, Nate Weekers from Arizona has been calling Pella Larson the Swedish Army Knife. Ooh, we have back and forth Army Knives. I'm not sure which guy was the first to that, but got a couple Army Knives here. You're, you're the Euro Army Knives in the Pac-12. <laughs> well, both teams very international. Washington State with players from four different countries. A little too high for Ballo. Ball bounces around. Johnson gets it back. Larson using the glass. Great call there. The glass is able to really take a little, a little heat off that shot. Easier to make that when you shoot it off the glass. Banging, banging down low. Mm. And there's the roll for Chin Yelu. He has 12 for the Cougars. And big minutes as a freshman. Part of the NBA Academy in Africa was Chin Yelu. Washington State has a pipeline there. Here's Boswell. Ballo got a hand on it, but Chinelu Chin boxed him out. Wouldn't let him get another touch. Nine rebounds in the game for Chinelu. Now this back to this matchup. They like Rice with key shot on him. From deep. And well. Drills it. Jalen Wells now five three pointers in the game. And he is the most effective. They have led for the vast majority of this game. They did led for nearly the entire first half, near nearly 15 minutes. Been a little bit more back and forth with about six or seven lead changes this half. If Washington State were to win this game, I think they need to be ranked in the top 15 maybe even closer to 10 I mean going on the road like this they they've gone toe to toe with Arizona I don't disagree with you partner Ballo! great look from Pella Larson Ballo all by himself goes up and gets that one and throws it down they're going to call the charge on Bryce. You can see the emotion from Pella Larson as he draws the offensive foul. Screaming at the student section on his way out. Well, here was that play. Well, right before the... It's a good good call. Close call. Looked like Rice may have extended the left arm. Pella was moving. We don't have to be exactly still in that position. He was in defensive guarding position. Two-point ball game, just over four to go. That was a big turnover. And Rice with three fouls will take him out here with four minutes to go. Rice just five points in the game. He's been the engine and the heart for this Washington State team, but they're finding other ways to get it done. So Winsu continues to man the point. He's guarded by Pella Larson. I think they go back to Isaac Jones right here. Here he is, working on Johnson. Just one on one, really. That's all it is. Back in his way down, spinning in the lane, in and out, follow with the board. Love with room. Arizona up by one. Winsu throws it away. I'll tell you what, Caleb Love, that guy's got some guts. That, that guy is the alpha of this team, the mini Mamba. He just missed that shot before. Pretty easy shot. He's going again. How about another one? Almost had it in and out. No fear. A short memory if he misses anything. He's coming right back at you. 
Back to Isaac Jones. Here they go. Good help there by Pella with a double. Working He's got Pella Larson. by himself. Wow. Fouled on the way up by Pella Larson. That's going to be foul number three. He is so difficult to guard. Pella Larson throwing it up. Ballo throwing it down. It's 68 67. Ballo and Company's teams in the country. Arizona right behind him, having won six in a row. And now a chance to tie it up with the free throw line, which is exactly what Isaac Jones does. And there's only been nine teams in the power conferences this year that have won six games in a row. Washington State, you just mentioned, at seven. Arizona at six right now. Jones makes the second. Cougars up by one. And I, I say six games in a row in league, so you know they're tough games. Arizona going to that high post screen, trying to get action with Ballo. And then get the switch. Yeah, Larson was looking for Ballo inside. It was fouled before he had a chance to make the catch. Winzo was, Winzo was just being buried underneath, which we've seen a lot. He just, nothing he could do but grab him. And if you're Washington State, that's a good foul. I mean, he had no chance if Ballo catches. He's been down for a layup. Now you put Ballo at the line, who's a 50% shooter. Ballo with another double-double. Now six straight double-doubles for Umar Ballo. And as this season progresses, Umar Ballo is going to be at the line in these clutch situations. He's going to have to really dig deep, concentrate, and knock these in. During that six-game winning streak for Arizona, Ballo averaging 15 points, 12 rebounds per game, and he's shooting 71% from the floor. Is that Ooh. good? Ooh. Not bad. Not bad at all. And tonight, he has 16 and 10, misses the crucial second free throw. We're all knotted up at 69. This is fun. This is awesome. What a oh, setting here at the McHale the Center. The one. I think Arizona will double this. Key yep. shot coming in. Wells picked up the dribble. Back out to Winsu. Impossible wow. shot falling away. Mm -hmm. Jalen Wells hits it. He has 21. Cougars up by two. Yakimovsky right there with the play. He was able to find Wells. It was the only thing they could do. Just scrambling at the end of the clock. Johnson looking inside, he drives baseline, pushes off just a little bit, and hits. And we are once again tied up at 71 apiece with 1.30 to go. Buckle up, baby! We knew it was good, just assumed they kind of rolled over into this one because they knew what a big game this was. Do they have a mom's weekend and a dad's weekend? I think they do. That's how much they like to get after it in Tucson. They don't just have parents with them, they need two weekends. <laughs> they need two. Report pressure coming. Out on Yakimovsky. That's a pretty good job by Yakimovsky to bring that up against Caleb Love. Not easy. It's his D. Now they're going back, try to get it to Isaac Jones down low. It's going to be Wells one on one. Wells using the screen. Two strong follow snares the rebound out of the air. I say this all the time, but follow is unbelievable at grabbing the rebound with two hands. So many guys do not do that. He secures it way up top. Love on the drive in traffic. Gets the basket with a chance for the three-point play. You know what I love? What Tom Bowen has done in the last few possessions. Look how far he brought Bolo out to set that high screen. By bringing him out about 30-some feet, it opens up the lane for guys like Caleb Love to drive and get to the rim. That's what just happened there. Love now with 26 and a chance to give the Wildcats a three-point lead. Tommy Lloyd looking on, knowing what's on the line. First place in the Pac-12. Well, and I think if you're Washington, 
state right here, you want to go two for one. You want to make sure you get your shot quick enough that you can have two possessions for Arizona's one. Let's see if they recognize that. Arizona up by three, 45 to go. Dyson Wells working the two-man game. I don't think they're going to get it. Rice, deep three. Follow his hand on it. Yakamovsky rips it away from the corner. Got oh. it! Wow. Jalen Wells. Contact. He goes down into the front row of the crowd. Are you kidding me? With the chance for a four-point play. A four-point play with 24 to go. Forget the two for one. Wow, they dialed up a four point play. Look at this. He shot it. Looks like he did get in his space right there. Looked like the right call. Couldn't see all of it, but. Who? Jalen Wells with what could be the biggest play of the game. A chance for a four point play. That last three pointer. His sixth three of the night gives him right here after making the three, so his confidence is sky high. And he gets it. One point lead for the visiting Washington State Cougars. Like Arizona, they're going to take just a good shot when they get it. There's Love, guarded by Winsu. Love blocked down low, out of bounds, off of Yakubovsky. Ball stays here. Nine seconds left. Arizona down by one. You see Clough right there. He thought he could sneak under right there, but that was Isaac Jones from the weak side. He blocked it so hard they just couldn't get it back. Malo came way up high to set that screen again, and he rolled to the basket. I thought he was open. I thought he might be looking at Malo, but yep. Why did it go something different? We've seen Pella Larson go back door out of an out of bounds play. They did it last year against your Tennessee team. Let's see what he draws up. Pella Larson, Caleb Love, the only two that have hit three pointers tonight. They go to Johnson. And here's Love. Six seconds left on the clock. He slips. They call a travel, a turnover by Arizona. Caleb Love slipped and lost the ball with four seconds to go. Well, the unfortunate part for Arizona is he had, who do you have in the corner there, Jaden Radley? It was the right look, and that's the right call. Just too much energy going in front of him there. Now, Arizona, obviously they can get a steal here, but they got a foul immediately. Quick, four seconds left. Minsu throwing it in, looking for Rice, gets it to Wells, and a foul quick. 2.7 seconds left. Wells going to the line with a chance to make this a three-point ball game. Well, it was interesting at shoot around. Arizona worked on a number of last-second sort of home run plays. If this, and a lot of teams do that towards the end of the year. When it, once it hits February, they worked out on that at the very end. They might have an opportunity here, depending on what Wells does, whether they need a two or three. Wow. A fan just threw yeah. one of those glow sticks out onto the court, ended up on the Washington State bench. Almost hit Kyle Smith. Unfazed. <laughs> is Jalen Wells as he has been most of the night. Wayne Hunter holding the glow stick, giving, barking out instructions with the glow stick in his hand. The fans, they continue to throw things at the bench and will result in a technical foul. Well, Arizona so, has one time out for the safety of the student athletes. Thank you. And an announcement just made by the public address announcer saying that anything else thrown on the court, there will be a technical foul assessed to Arizona. Something they can ill afford here with under three seconds to go down by two. Washington State. 
Dombrowskis is going to check in here after this free throw. Here's Wells with the new season high 26. And timeout. Here, here it comes. So they've got this play drawn up. This is a home run play. They worked on it in shoot around. And now it counts. All right. 2.7 seconds to go. Arizona down by three. No timeout. Here we go. Last chance. Trying to stay perfect on their home court. Here's Boswell running out of time. Love gets it off. Off the front of the rim. And the Cougars hold on. The biggest win of Kyle Smith's head coaching career at Washington State. And they end the streak. Arizona no longer perfect at home. Wow. wow. I just have to say.